Welcome. In this video I'm going to take a look at the power draw of my 2015, it's an early 2015 MacBook Pro Retina. So I have a kilowatt plugged in here, and I'm looking at the standby draw. I'm going to be leaving for a few days, so I'm just going to leave this uh, up and running. It goes to sleep in six minutes, or it turns the display off after six minutes. It does have power nap on, which will allow it to back up using Time Machine and check email and things like that. So I'm going to leave it like this. The display will sleep. And then when I get back, I'll check this and see how much power it took. And it will also estimate how much it cost a year to run in standby. Okay, so when I last was here, it was Friday morning, and now it's Sunday evening. So I have my kilowatt here. And we'll go down through the settings. Let's see, it's currently drawing uh, 0.32 amps. 25 watts, now it's 18, 19. It's jumping around a little bit. About 44 to 48 VA. 60 hertz, power factors 0.41, 0.43. So here we're looking at costs. It cost me three cents in electricity over that weekend. So we'll look by the hour, it says zero. Day, it cost me one cent a day, 10 cents a week, 45 cents a month, or $5.51 a year. So like I said, this is an early 2015 MacBook Pro on standby. And I think this is set for eight or nine uh, cents per kilowatt hour. I'm not sure exactly. Let's see, on my right's nine. And it took 0.43 kilowatt hours. So if you were to plug this in and you were to use it all the time, like when I'm editing videos, it's gonna use a lot more electricity during those times. But the idea behind standby electricity is this is money you're paying when you're not actually utilizing the machine itself. So um, this is just kind of money you are potentially losing. Um, by having it plugged in all the time. So not a tremendous amount of money, but you would see like if you had a lab full of these, um, that could add up all the time. I mean, you talk uh, $5.51, um, you know, if you had a lab of 100 computers, that's $500 a year. So you would potentially want to shut these down every day um, to save money at night. So, but you wouldn't, lo you wouldn't uh, gain back all that $500 because you're still using the computer part of that time. So you might get half of that back. It's hard to say. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.